Okay, we are looking at number eight, um, which is a layer using any filter from the filter gallery. A layer using any filter from the filter gallery. Filter gallery. So let's pretend I didn't just start this assignment. <laughs> let's just uh, say this is the layer that I'm going to use. Um, using any filter. So I'm going to go up here to my top drop down menu here and select filter. And then it says from the filter gallery. So I'm going to scroll down to the filter gallery, click on that. And anything, anything in here is fair game. Okay. All of these different uh, categories with multiple options. When you open them up, if you open these up, they have multiple options and then sliders to the right that you can play around with. Um, it's all fair game. This is what the this is what's in the filter gallery right now. So you just need to choose one of these. There's tons. There's the artistic filter has a lot. Um, you just kind of kind of have to play around. I, I like to play around with cutout, which is an artistic filter. Um, playing around with the number of levels kind of gives it a cartoony look. Um, there's that, there's film grain, and then of course you can play around with more grain, less grain. I'd recommend just spending some time, because this is a really easy requirement, just spend some time scrolling through the options, get to know the filters in the filter gallery. That's the purpose of this requirement. Uh, is for you to get to know the different filters in the filter gallery so that you can use them on your own assignments and projects. Um, what's this one? Paint daubs. Wow, interesting. I don't think it looks like a painting, but it definitely has some, some effect. Poster edges. This is a common one used uh, for any kind of a comic look sponge watercolor interesting i'm going to close out the artistic ones open up brush strokes i've never really used any of these splatter dark strokes uh, there's distort glass this is one i've used before increase the distortion it really actually does look like glass that's why i like it um, I have definitely used this before. Texture frosted, canvas glass, blocks. This is a really neat one, just depending on what you're doing. Wow, look at that. I'll go back to uh, canvas, I don't know. Um, sketch, probably used the photocopy one before. paper stamp note paper reticulation I have no idea what these do one of these days I'm gonna come across a tutorial it's gonna ask me to to use uh, what am I using reticulation never used it before that kind of looks pretty cool depending on what you're trying to do stylized glowing edges texture you got that wow that's really cool look at that Crack allure, grain, mosaic tiles, patchwork, square size. Wow, look at that. Stained glass. Cell size. Whoa. Texturizer. Okay, that's the last one. Um, Definitely spend spend some time, have fun, just you know, messing around with one, and then just choose one. Um, and then you want to title your layer according to the requirements. So you're going to title this. Um, maybe give it the title of the of the filter that you chose. I can't remember the filter that I chose, so I'm just going to type filter. Um, and that is it. Filter gallery.